If it's going to be in the year, um, so recently um, I came up with the Puppeteer library, uh, which is the Node.js tool, a very powerful one that allows uh, using headless Chrome, which has been introduced not very long time ago, but the time of recording this video at the very least. And the idea behind this is that this this kind of framework can be used for web scraping purposes. And one of the uh, core reasons behind considering this this kind of framework is the matter of having a way more stable HTTP requests, outgoing requests, because uh, I've, I've been working with Python Scrape for years basically in there in order to get a reasonable response uh, object like the HTML there or fetching the data from the API. You need to manually set up uh, the headers, the cookies, updating everything, and things like that. And the whole lot of websites uh, relies on. Uh, sorry, no, uh, I, I just want to say not, not not a whole lot of that. Well, not not a whole lot of websites, but some websites uh, even do rely on the browser fingerprint, uh, which is the JavaScript sort of verification that allows to make sure that you're actually a human, not a not a bot. So with Puppeteer, uh, all the requests, uh, all the HTTP request stuff, uh, stuff um, completely relies on the Chrome browser itself. So from the target uh, website that is being crowded, it feels like it's being crowded uh, using the Chrome browser, which is really great and way better to as opposed to whatever you can do manually. So I'm currently at the state of thinking about like using Puppeteer along with my uh, some of the projects that I'm currently working on in regards to web scraping. So uh, there are a couple of resources that doesn't work nicely and good enough with, with scraping, well, at least for free. It doesn't. It does with the prepaid rotated proxies, but it doesn't work for free. So that's the idea. But uh, just another, just from the historical perspective, like the reason how I, how I did manage to came up with this sort of a library is I was working on another project related to chess programming. At some point, I was um, I was making I was making research on the screencasting, which is the headless Chrome browser feature, allowing to stream uh, the flow, the, to stream the screenshots of uh, of the rendered video frame of the web browser to later on being saved as PNG files or even being handled on the fly. So the idea I was working on. Uh, recording the screen from the browser. And quite a fun thing that uh, the initial example for the puppeteer itself is uh, taking a screenshot, believe it or not. So uh, what we're going to be doing in this video in particular uh, is quite important for the following upcoming series of tutorials that I'm, I think, I hope I would find some time to make. So in this video in particular, we'll take a screenshot of this example domain.com. Uh, using Puppeteer. So we'll create a project, install uh, Puppeteer as the local dependency, and then uh, then I'll write this code, walk through, for it, li uh, walk through the code line by line, explain how exactly it works, and you just need to know that it works within this async await uh, construct, which is quite specific to uh, quite specific uh, to Node.js in general and to Puppeteer in particular because of the way how the headless Chrome itself works. And the good news is that this this is a sort of a zero configuration thing. So you just, well, I just, let's just actually dive straight into it. And this would be much easier to understand uh, by doing rather than explanation. So here, I just want to create a new folder. Let's just call it a screenshot, for instance. So all our code would be living here. This is going to be the Node.js project. So here, I just open the terminal. So I hope you have the Node.js being installed in your system. If not, then just check out the tutorials on how to do that. That's quite pretty self-explanatory. So uh, along with the Node.js, there should be uh, NPM being installed, Node Package Manager, uh, Manager. NPM stands for Node Package Manager. And if I just simply say NPM, uh, well, sorry, before uh, before anything else, I need to in, in each initialize a new project. So uh, NPM init here, this would create a file called package.json. Uh, so yeah, let's call it a screenshot, the version description, yeah, that's, that's okay. Uh, I'm, uh, I could have avoided doing this, but I'm just just doing this just to avoid basically uh, any troubles with installing the packages. 
So here is the package, right? Uh, package JSON. We don't really care much about this. The only, uh, the only reason why I'm doing this, which might not be the best practice, practice for Node.js in general, but but I'm not a Node.js developer. I'm a Python developer, so I'm just using this popular library for the web scraping purposes. I'm currently uh, for for the issues related to the web scraping purposes. So please forgive not using the best practices, if any. So here I just can say npm install and puppeteer. And what it does, uh, first it would download the latest Chrome, uh, which is really like great in terms of zero configuration stuff. Uh, so it's downloading the Chromium here. Uh, and the, the, there are some options, so you, you can use the existing Chrome, uh, like the one being installed in your system. But in my case, I never update them. So uh, downloading the latest version is, uh, is always like beneficial to make sure that the API works properly because uh, the library itself heavily re relies on the Chrome's API, so need to make sure that that's the latest version. All right, so hopefully, yeah, getting done. So now we'll create the node modules folder, having a whole lot of things that are like including the puppeteer itself, but really a whole lot of things. So just, just make sure, yeah. So now we're done, and uh, from now on, uh, we can actually create a new file. And let's call it, let's call it screenshot, screenshot.js. And this in here, here in screen and screenshot.js. So first we want to import the packages. Uh, well, actually here, there, there, here there, there would be the only one. So I just say const, uh, constant puppeteer equals to require puppeteer. So very simple, uh, very simple way of how to import the package. And here, um, the main, sort of the main, I don't know, it's not a loop really, but the main part, um, main logic here. So the main like the framework wrapper, let's call it wrapper, basically. It's the main wrapper of some sort. So here, um, creating a function that would be calling itself on load, on script load. And uh, an interesting thing that this function is going to be asynchronous. So I'm um, using this async keyword. So this is important. And the logic itself is going to be here. So first, uh, we want to create a browser instance. So this this browser object uh, would it be the one like the Chrome browser instance sort of. So it would have been another constant. Uh, it's called browser. And it's going to be equal to, uh, sorry, before this, um, extremely sorry. So first we want to initialize the puppeteer itself. Initialize the puppeteer itself. So, but on the other hand, um, actually, I don't know how better call it. So we can say like, actually, I just want to say evade, uh, await puppeteer.launch. Uh, so the idea is that uh, once we have any, uh, uh, the problem with the commentaries basically, so, so literally we, we are starting the, the, the puppeteer itself, initializing, but meanwhile we're creating the browser instance, so yeah, I think this probably is better to make it go in one line or like this. Then we want to create a page instance, page instance, so const page is equal to so also want to wait this is important because we're working with asynchronous stuff here since since this async wait are in the cards so here we can simply say browser dot new page like this then we want to navigate uh to the target url so here i want to say uh await again wait here um page dot go to and https example example dot com and here down below uh we have the main logic of what we want to be uh doing so like, let's say this this would be the matter of the web scraping like the extract extracting the data everything we would go here right uh here in particular uh want to take Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of 
of the web of the web page of the web page so i want to see a wait page dot screenshot and uh the bare minimum set of parameters i would like to consider here so say path and let's call it example dot png just want to store this as the png and let me just add the semicolons to make it a bit more strict okay and finally i uh, want to close close the browser all right so here um again like wait and browser dot close now I, now if i did everything properly then in theory this should take a screenshot from from the example.com website so in order to run this stuff uh i'm not gonna be using npm run or something because I'm, i didn't initialize the the running scripts because it's not like express web framework or things like that so i can just simply run the script directly by say node and screenshot right so screenshot.js and here we go so it shouldn't be doing anything in the console it doesn't print anything because we didn't really ask it to but uh here is the example png and here is the file which is absolutely the same as the one uh we've been looking for so we just did navigate here to the example.com and then once we had a page uh we did it we, did, we didn't make a screenshot so um i really wanted to spend time uh demonstrating how to install things how to create a new project and how to uh actually work uh, how to make the basic http request and you just know that we don't we don't specify any headers or cookies or whatever here right uh but we got our result back and we can take a screenshot for instance so there, there is a whole lot of things like uh storing the page as pdf and so on so in the documentation you can find a whole lot of things available there for the library but uh starting from the next video uh we'll have a look uh at some basic data extraction uh using the puppeteer so this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care